Hey up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing good, hope you're doing great. I've bought a stand, so hopefully my videos will be a bit better. So today's video is me showing you a bit of basic cooking because not everybody knows how to cook. It's not hard. My culinary skills aren't fantastic, but I can cook. So I'm gonna do a bit of basic cooking with you. With something I like to call, chuck it in the pan. So chuck it in the pan, see what happens, and away we go. So I'll show you what I've got for a start, and we'll get started. Nice one. Right, so these are the ingredients. Um, Millie says hi. So what I'm going to do, and please don't laugh at me, or go, Ugh. What I'm going to do is a sausage tikka masala. You heard me right, a sausage tikka masala, because... The sausages were a lot cheaper than the chicken and I thought, do you know what, sod it, I've done it before, tastes good, it's fine. So all this here, I worked out, this lot was £6.51 for all you see here. But I'm not going to be using all that, I'm only going to be using just a handful of potatoes, some onions and half the, um, the sausages. So this recipe is going to cost £3.26. You heard it, £3.26. And I should be able to get at least four meals out of this. Maybe five. See how we go. Um, so, let's get cracking. Right, so this is all I'm going to be using. So, using half the sausages. So I'll have four sausages. I'll cut them into small pieces. Um, I might use most of the mushrooms, we'll see how we go, all the pepper, not all the rice, because um, roughly, rule to thumb, one cup of rice is about enough for one person, so I'm going to do about four and a half cups, mm, yeah, see how we go, again, let's chuck it in a pan, see what happens, uh, I'm going to do three onions, four of the potatoes, so yeah, I'll uh, get this chopped up. So when you're chopping it up, just do what you want. Chop it into big chunks, small chunks, whatever. But what I'm going to do with the potatoes is do them thinly sliced and then chuck them in the pan so they get nice and fried. Um, and everything else will be a bit chunky. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> See, I'm not really good at this. Mixed vegetables <laughs> out the freezer. My fault. So I'm going to use some of these as well. So that's in with the price that I already told you. So uh, yeah, I'll probably use maybe, maybe a bowl of that. But we'll find out. Okay, Mill? Yes, okay. So I've chopped everything up. So I've got a bowl full of uh, mixed veg from the freezer. I've sliced my potatoes up. Chopped my sausages up because they'll cook a lot better. Um. Roughly chopped up the pepper. Remember, if you've never cut up a pepper, take the seeds out. Uh, done chunky mushrooms, just chopped them up. Same with my onions. Now, you're probably thinking, oh my God, what has he done? He should be cutting it fine than that. That's the way I like it. You don't have to do it like that. That's just the way I do it. Um, chuck it up chunky and uh, chuck it in. Right, so I've got my pan on. Um, I've got a number five. I'm going to chuck the onions in, get them going. Marvellous. Loads of them. You just want to get them so they start browning off. So you might be, I don't know, five minutes doing that. I know it's a lot of onions, but I do like my onions, and uh, it's a good way of bulking it out. So what I've done, I've changed the plan slightly. I've put the potatoes, or all, nearly all of them, put a few in here, put them in a separate pan, and I'll do those, obviously, separately, because um, I'm going to run out of room. So they're cooking. This is cooking. We'll add the next lot, which is the sausages. Wang them in. Get them going. It's also you want to make sure 
do the cook properly. As you can see, there's no real rules to it. I can't just go with whatever I think at the time. Right, that's cooking nicely. So, um, what have we got? Peppers in. Shrooms. Get them in. Starting to fill up nicely now. So as that's starting to go, hello milk. I'm going to put the rice on. I think really want to get involved. Okay. I'm going to put the rice on low. Because you'll find that this might take a while to cook because you're doing such a, a mass amount of it. If you're doing a small amount, that probably is only about 20 minutes of that. But this will take a bit longer, especially because I'm doing them. Right, so that's cooking nicely, spot on. They're not far off being done. Rice is on boil. Change the rice slightly because I've put two cups in now instead of four because there's going to be a lot. Next step, jar of sauce. So chuck that in, I've just added a bit of water to the jar, get the rest of the sauce out. There we go. You can have a good stir in. Once it's not far off, I'm going to chuck the mixed vegetables in because they won't take too long. Fried potatoes. You're probably looking at it and think that is disgusting. Well, if you think that, then don't eat it. I'm a single bloke, I'll eat anything. And that could stir. Obviously, don't let your rice stick to the bottom, or else it'll be an absolute nightmare. What I am doing, just adding a few mixed herbs to the potatoes. Don't stop kicking about really. Again, if you haven't got any, don't worry about it. Add a bit of salt and pepper if you want. So that's not far off, so we'll add in the mixed veg. As you can see, it's balking out very, very nicely. He's barking at a bird. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's nearly, nearly dinner time. So, yeah, guys, that's done. They're done. Rice is done. And it's took me 45 minutes, 50 minutes, something like that. Um, you can do it a bit quicker. You don't have to bother with those. You can do smaller. Whatever you want to do. This is just an example of what I, I do to do a fair few meals for basically under a fiver. So I'll plate some up and then I'll tell you how much I've got left over. So there you are guys. That is one portion for me, which is a good sized portion. There we go. And I've worked it out with the rest of the stuff. I've got enough for another four portions in there. So I've got... I've, <laughs> So I've basically batch cooked five meals. So I'm going to plate another one up for tomorrow night. And then the other lot I'm going to put into separate containers uh, and freeze that. And I could just get it out whenever I want then. Right, so th there we go. Second night. So I've got some leftovers from what I did. And it's turned to a bit of a different dish. Look, it's a bit more like a risotto. Uh, just mix the rice in with the leftover curry. So that's tonight's tea. And then I've got three lots here to put in the freezer. So you've got some curries in the top, rice in the bottom. So what I'll do, I'll probably do the same as this when I get them out of the freezer. That's a meal sorted. 
there you go. Five meals. So there you are, guys. I hope that was okay for you. Again, that was my first ever cooking video. And the way I cook is probably not how a lot of people do. But for a basic cooking, like I said, chuck it in a pan. As long as it's cooked, it's all right. £3.25 for five meals. I think that's pretty good. So from me and Millie, who's now going to help me eat my dinner, thank you very much for watching. I'll try and get better at these videos and do it a, a bit more in depth for you. Um, thanks for watching. Like what you see, please subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.